Ready? Wait, 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 wait. Don't pour it from that. Go ahead, go ahead. Go lower. Are you going to pour it or not? Pour it, dude. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I'm on Food Server here. Today, guys, we're going to be showing you guys how to make a very special dish. It's a delicacy in my culture. It's very daring to my people, and these are the simple ingredients. First, you need the taro leaves. Uh, we need an onion, some coconut milk, and salt. Simple ingredients. And all right, guys, let's get into it. Let's go. So, I was gonna make just a couple, but, but since we have a bunch of family, if you're Polynesian, we don't have one brother. <laughs> We don't have one sister, so we're gonna do this. This is gonna be the main ingredient to our dish. First thing you wanna do is that you're gonna wanna rip the tip off, just like that. And then you're gonna rip the, the stem off, so check this out. So you're gonna rip the stem off just like that. So when you're sorting the leaves, you wanna make sure that you get them in the right sizes. We're gonna get uh, large, medium, and small. Just like that, all right. All right, guys, first things first, you wanna dash your onion up. All right, ready? Don't blink. Boom, there you go. All right, guys, so there it is. All right, that's the onions. Now we're gonna be preparing the coconut milk. There you go. All right, guys, so for the coconut milk, you wanna make sure to get the purple label. Personally, I prefer the purple label. My parents always told me to get the purple label. Um, whatever you prefer is good too. Make sure you get coconut milk, not coconut cream. But yeah, purple label. For, for nine fluid ounces, you want one and a half tablespoon of salt. All right, just go right there. Just, just season it to flavor, you know, uh, taste it while you season it. And then mix it up and then you're gonna throw the onions in here. After you guys mix in the salt, add in your onions. Oof, right up in there, just like that. Little regard to any of the, any anything. You know, after you mix up your coconut milk and salt, just add in your, onions and then we're ready for the next step let's go now that our coconut mixture is ready we're going to prepare the taro leaves to pour the coconut mixture into this is why we separated the leaves into different sized piles earlier we're going to use our bigger leaves as the base and pile on more taro leaves to help create a waterproof cup or seal for our coconut milk I'm gonna go ahead and twist the middle of the pile like so and use smaller leaves to help seal it up now that we have our cup ready, we pour the coconut mixture into the center, like so. Now we fold the sides of the taro leaves to help seal in the coconut juice. This next step we're using banana leaves to wrap the taro leaves. It's not necessary, but if you want more flavor, consider doing so. Now we foil everything up into a ball-like shape and it's ready to cook. So we're gonna show you guys how Tongans make uh, lupulu. So it's it's very similar to the Samoan way of doing luau or palusami. But the only difference is that they're gonna be adding corned beef into the mixture. And not just that, but they also add mayonnaise to the coconut milk. So we're just gonna add a little bit of mayonnaise. We're gonna mix it into the coconut milk. Stir it up. And then we just combine the ingredients. And that is how they make lupuru. All right, so when the recipe is done, what you wanna do is you're gonna put it in a steamer like this. If you don't have a steamer like this, just bake it in a traditional oven. So just, just bake it in the oven for about an hour, hour and a half at 375 degrees. That should be good, yeah. All right guys, so here we are with the final product. So this here is our palusami. Get a close up of this real quick. It's been in the steamer for two hours. So everything inside of here should be cooked now. So this is what it should look like when it's ready. Right there, see that? 
dripping with finesse. Bunch of juice right here. And what I got here is a, this is a, another part of a, the cultural dish. Right here is, this is a caldo. They go very well together. So we also have here our taro, another part of the cultural dish. And this is how, how I would eat it. You just take the taro, use it as a knife, cut off a piece of the parusami. Very hot right now. There we are. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy. Yeah, so try out the recipe and then let me know what you guys think. Salmon so food suffer. Until we eat again, signing off. All right, now that our onions are diced, we're gonna prepare the onion milk. Or <laughs> All right, so for the onion milk, 